If you're watching this, you probably want to know how we made the latest Barbie video. Well, I found an AI video generator and I simply wrote, replace Barbie with a black cat. Waited a few seconds and here it was, the latest Owl Kitty video from start to finish. No, okay, of course I'm kidding, art is not completely dead yet. The entire video was shot on camera by Lizzie, who's doing great and living her best life. Because she's an absolute star. Something AI will never be able to replace. So without further ado, and for real this time, let me show you how it all came together in edit. This parody was really silly, and some of these shots weren't particularly difficult. First one to come to mind is obviously the one where she's eating from a bowl. That one was probably the easiest one I've ever had to shoot. Or when I just need her to be sleeping, especially on her back, which is something that she does basically on command so very easily. However, I can't say it was easy for some of these props which didn't survive very long. Rest in peace, little flamingo. Thank you for your service. And after I have all the footage I need, I recreated the environment in Photoshop and arranged all the pieces in 3D space. So that way it kinda gives the impression that it's part of the movie, when it's not. It's really just an image. As for this one, we just needed Lizzie to look like she's sitting on a beach chair. And I ended up with a few options that, honestly in hindsight, I'm not even sure I used the funniest one. Maybe this one was better? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But Ken only has a great day if Kitty looks at him. Hi, Kitty! He doesn't care about anyone else. Hi, Ken! So I'm sure by now you're wondering how did I get Helen Mirren to be in this video? Well, it's simple. I found a good AI voice generator and I typed in Helen Mirren. No, of course I'm kidding. I have a friend who's a real voice talent and she did a great job. But Ken only has a great day if Kitty looks at him. He doesn't care about anyone else. That's great. That's really, really good. Oh, she's right here. Oh, hi, Lizzie. Did you have to give her snacks? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. That was great. So back in edit, some of these other shots were a little bit more challenging, like on the boat. It's really just her playing with a toy and a combination of a few of these shots and some good luck. For this next one, I've had to dig through the archives. Here she is sliding on the hardwood floors, chasing a laser pointer. That's something I filmed a little bit ago for a parody with music so copyrighted that I think it got taken down from YouTube. <laughs> but you get the idea. <laughs> it's a little clunky, but it came together nicely. Okay, this one got a lot of comments. And so guess who I was for Halloween this year. And here's me, awkwardly trying to figure out uh, if the angle is correct. And after a few different takes to see what would work best, I landed on this one. Because look at those eyes, she's really cute. And I'm really happy with how the, the lighting turned out on this one. And Lizzie got lots of love, which she always appreciates. Which reminds me, this video is brought to you by babies, specifically our baby. That's right, our family is getting bigger and all three cats, including Max, are excited to meet her. Unfortunately, that means Lizzie will no longer be allowed to sleep in her bassinet. She'll have to just learn to share. But in all sincerity, we're super excited and uh, on a très hâte de te rencontrer. Okay, obviously this scene is the one that a lot of you want me to talk about. Like this one where it's really just me and I'm holding up a bag of food, uh, just like that. And some of you might recognize Chewies, which is the made up brand that keeps showing up in our videos, which I guess it makes it part of the Owl Kitty uh, universe, I suppose. Anyways, as for the reaction shots, filming Lizzie was very easy. In fact, I'm just waving a treat off camera. Bless you. But what was challenging was changing the background so that it looks like the camera is closer to the ground. Et voila. As for the rest of that sequence, there's two shots left. This one and this one. And so once again, I took out our entire living room and then I managed to get this little running sequence by stitching together a few different shots. This one and this one. Also, as I'm recording this right now, I'm realizing I'm definitely not wearing the right shoes. Then I had to stretch the background, uh, replace my head, and of course, adding the reflection and the shadows on the floor. And special shout out to Ryan Gosling for making two appearances in this shot. And for this next one, it was really ambitious, but I tried to recreate this shot right here. So it did get a little weird. 
and I had to film myself and for that I've had to do something kind of gross uh, <laughs> and I never want to talk about it again. And so after a little bit of compositing magic, here's the shot and now I get to be on the internet forever as the guy who put cat food on his face. <laughs> that's my legacy. And that's it! Thank you all so much for watching and sharing our videos. These are a lot of fun to put together, but they also take a lot of time. And I know that prioritizing quality over quantity isn't really how social media works. I don't know what to tell you, I'm sorry for not posting more, but rest assured, if I don't post for a while, it doesn't mean anything's wrong with Lizzie, she's doing great, and will continue to do so for many, many years to come. We're very grateful for all your support. Until next time, Lizzie say goodbye. Like that.